everybody's going through it and everybody needs various forms of help. Some of it's financial and some of it is actual psychological help. So on the line right now, we got Dr. Kendall Jasper. He's a licensed clinical psychologist representing Brooklyn, New York. So you might also yeah. be fluent in Dunn language as well. Already. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, my brother. Welcome to the hustle, bro. What's good? Thanks for having me. Appreciate the love for sure. So listen, man, I know you've been uh, getting a lot of interesting stories coming down your line, man, of people just, you know, in various states of just distress because, you know, we're not used to being told, hey, don't do nothing. How is it? Like, what are some of the things you're seeing out there? Well, I think that some of it, first thing you're seeing is is a lot of misinformation. And due to, Mm -hmm. you know, misinformation, you get mixed messages. Right. right? You get a lot of folks that aren't really understanding the the full scope of the issue, really, you know, starting with the virus, symptoms of it, you know, how it's carried, you know, how someone can infect another person with this virus. Uh, So you get a lot of folks just sort of on a mixed message. And that, of course, starts with leadership. So some people are taking these things, you know, this issue more serious than others. And I think that the, the, the most important message is that Everyone needs to treat treat this with the same heightened level of precaution, you know, and seriousness, Uh you know, because it's real and this is a real circumstance. And, you know, a lot of a lot of what I understand is that in the moment, you know, you have a lot of people with fear, anxiety, getting depressed, a lot of concerns. But the aftershock of it will also be very interesting to to witness and observe, because post this. A lot of people are experiencing significant trauma as a result of this, losing loved ones, not being able to uh, ride with those individuals to the hospital, saying yeah. the last goodbye is over a telephone or yeah. FaceTime message. You know, yeah. think about how traumatic that can be. You know, loss and grief are traumatic enough. You know, think about that as, a, as an additional piece to what's going on. Mm-hmm. Understood. Dr. Dr. Kendall, I had a question for you, you know, for people who are in dark places, we always try to, you know, do motivation and try to help redirect. But what are your suggestions when it comes to redirecting some of that energy? Because knowing that people are going through that, a lot of times the question becomes, well, what can I do? What should I do um, to help? So so I'm, I'm going to try to not talk too long on this, but I'm going to tell I'm going to probably say something that most people don't you know, think, okay, that's pretty non-traditional, but we're in a non-traditional time, right? So I take a very non-traditional approach to things. I think some of that you meet head on. I don't think you try to redirect it. I think honesty, addressing it, fleshing it out, talking about it matters because to be honest with you, whether we redirect or not, our mind is going to go back to those thoughts anyway, Mm. right? When you tell somebody something Mm -hmm. like, don't think about it, well, what the, what, what the hell does that mean? How do I not think about something? Right. You know, I don't, right. I don't have my control. I'm not a superhero. So, you know, you're going to think about those things. You're going to process those things. So some of it is meeting it head on, you know, as opposed to redirecting or not thinking about it, I would encourage people to engage in some pe- pleasurable activities to create an uptick in their mood. You know, music is one, you know, shout out to D nice. One of my big bros. He, he out here every day, you know, homeschooling, um, you know, going live with folks. And that seems to be some chicken soup for the soul for people. But Mm -hmm. exercise and and other things are maybe a way to, quote, unquote, redirect. But some of it is addressing it and flushing it out. How about for those people that are quarantined with uh, their family and stuff, and then it just gets too overwhelming? Like, they're stressed because they have to help their kids with school, their wife getting on their nerve, or their husband getting on their nerve. Like, what's what's some advice you could give to them? One of my co-hosts are pointing at their self. I'm not going to say who, but (laughs) But what's some advice you could give to those people that are just, like, fed up? Well, let let me say this, right? If you can be, if you're, if you're healthy, you can be productive. If you're productive, you can be happy, right? So the the most important part there starts with you, right? And it's about your optimal health, right? You live your life. No one else lives your life. Your mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters, aunts, uncles, husbands, wives, children, they don't live your life, right? So with that being said, you've got to figure out a way to be as close to optimal health as possible which means you have to take time for yourself. 
right? Even if it's just walking outside into the parking lot, in the driveway, up the mm-hmm. block, right? You have to find some time for yourself, mm-hmm. right? Now, another piece to that, or, or you know, and, and let me say this, right? So the world is a, is a different place. Even before COVID-19, coronavirus, the world is becoming a different place, right? Cultures are more infused, right? Hip hop is is has been magical for bringing people together all across the world and infusing cultures and and bringing everybody together, right? But it's also become more of a non traditional stance on an establishment, right? So a non traditional stance is educating everybody in the room about what's going on and how to best support the person who may be going through it. Because you know, I know for black folks, you got half the room saying ain't nothing wrong with that boy. And the other half of the room saying, oh, no, we need to take this very serious. Right. You know, so everybody in the room needs to be educated on what's going on and how to address what's popping with this individual. 